Strood, and Lawrence, discovered the moving of electron in the metals, known as free electron theory. So, they took a metal body, without the attachment of electric current. Without the electrical current, the electrons able to move within the metal. The total energy of the electron in the metal, is equal to its kinetic energy, as the metal is not connected to any external field. Hard iron metal, is kept in contact with the electric current. The current is switched on, and the electric current made to pass through the copper wire, to the metal. As the metals are good conductors, the current will pass through the metal. Now, the amount of electricity passing through the metal is, electrical conductivity. After the test, turn off the electric current. Immediately, when you touch the metal in your hands, the heat gets transferred from the metal to your hands, defining, thermal conductivity. The heat gets transferred, according to the size of the object. In physics, Weidmann Franz law states that, the ratio of the electronic contribution of the thermal conductivity, to the electrical conductivity of the metal is proportional to the temperature. Theoretically, the constant L is known as, Lorentz number, which is equal to the ratio of thermal conductivity and electrical conductivity, to the product of the temperature. Qualitatively, the fact that, the heat and electrical transport involves free electrons in the metal. Every theory has its own merits, and demerits. Free electron theory, explains the concept of Ohm's law, electrical, thermal conductivity, and in deriving, Wade Manfron's law. But, fails to explain the concept of, Crompton effect, photoelectric effect, ferromagnetism, and black body radiation.